Episode four. It's episode four of Oil Lie. Bum 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 bum. bum. Episode four of Oil Lie. Bum 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 bum. It's episode four of Oil Lie. <laughs> yeah, so I'm gonna have a go at this one today. Oh, that sounds good. Oh, uh, hello and welcome to another episode of uh, me painting in the Oil Eyes series. Yeah, we're, we're doing the Oil Eyes series. Yeah, we're, <laughs> we're doing the Oil Eyes series. Smidge has to make an appearance in every one uh, because otherwise he'll feel left out in the Oil Eye and it's, he's kind of been the, uh, the rock behind Oil Eye, haven't you, Smidge? Yeah, I, 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 I have. Yeah. <laughs> And he's, he, he said to me today, he's like, you need to do a flower painting. No longer should you be doing paintings of your visions, <laughs> of what you see on your way to work, because we want to see something different, because it's oil eye, and he wants to see something different. That's what you said, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll, we'll put um, Smidge down, and then uh, we'll, we'll carry on. Okay, uh, I want to watch this one now. Okay, you watch, you watch this one. You watch from down there. <laughs> so yeah, um, sorry, I was just moving my reference picture. So I took this photo earlier in the garden and uh, I had to knock a few black bugs off it <laughs> to take the picture. So I just knocked it a couple of times and the, the black fly flew off and then I took the picture and then it flew back on again. So let's just move that aside. Where should we move it? Let's just put it there. I mean, it, I'm not going to do a photo realistic painting. Um, I'm just going to be doing a, an impression of it. I'm using it as reference only. But I feel like I want to do something a little bit um, more impressionistic today. So I, I was, when I was looking at the petals, I was like, I could flick the brush and uh, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do a lot of flicking of the brush. I've got my uh, sitting back having a look mug on the go today. I need to keep hydrated because it's quite warm and uh, I've had another <laughs> hard day's work. So I'm like I'm in an R in over which yellow to use when I look at the picture, because cadmium yellow, mm, nah, I'm not going with that one. I think I'm gonna go with cadmium orange, cadmium red, and then cadmium yellow. <laughs> so the three cadmiums. And then I can use these colors as dullers, my yellow ochre and my umber. I can use uh, my black as a duller as well. My blue, possibly to change the tone of the green for the redeemed green and also the brown would probably work with that and then I can use my yellow for the greens in the picture so I might just have a a bit of a non background really just a bit of color so what's the best way for me to start this I think probably a bit of red like a small amount of red uh, two. Let's get some red out. So I really, really like <laughs> this photo I took. It's come out so nice. And uh, I'll just get some water. Get some water. Let's get a bit closer. Closer, get right in on the action. I say writing on the action. I am still an arm, well, half an arm away, <laughs> half an arm away. So look, looking at this shape, I'm not going to do an exact replica like I said, but let's just uh, mark things out a bit. And so we've got like a, a shape like this. It's kind of a, a roundy shape, isn't it? <laughs> mm. A roundy shape. That'll be an oval. An oval. An oval shape. Ooh. 
Oh, I haven't put the. Uh, I meant to put some blue tack on the back uh, to stick it. Oh, I'll use a bit of tape. Um, I'm just sticking a bit of tape on the back. I should have done this previously. Yeah, so I'm on day four of Oil Eye. Day four. I hope if you're, uh, you've been doing and joining me on Oil Eye, because I know some people have been painting paintings as well. I hope you're enjoying it, having fun with it, like I am. I really am actually. Uh, I don't know why I've never done this before, like done a, a load of paintings. Well, I've done a load of paintings. Well, um, like just like this, just in loads, I suppose. I don't actually know why. <laughs> I don't know why I haven't done it before. It's not been the right time, maybe. It's the right time now. It's one of those things. I just feel like I really want to do loads of pictures and that's why I thought of Oil Eye. <laughs> Oil Eye. Actually, I got the idea from uh, a chap called Jake Parker who created Inktober. He was doing an ink drawing every day and uh, I wanted to do an oil painting every day. So, Oil Eye fit. So I'm just uh, putting some red on here and uh, if you've noticed I've been using a little bit of water to thin the paint and also I'm putting hardly any paint on it's quite well it is really thin actually this colour and the reason the reason I want this colour to be thin is because I'm going to be putting orange over the top of it and uh, the more paint that you put in during the blocking in method which is what this is really I'm just blocking in a colour and uh, I'm going to put colour on top of that so yeah the more paint you put in on your blocking in method then the harder it's going to be for you because if you've got a lot of paint on there then uh, any paint that you put on top of that it's going to mix so you really <laughs> if you put a lot on you're polluting your paint and when you put paint on top so you're going to be in all kinds of trouble which is why it's a good idea to not do that <laughs> so put the green with Viridian Green, I'm sure I just heard something really loud go past. I remember the days when I used to always hear ice cream vans when I did paintings. It's <laughs> 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 crazy. Right, um, I might use my favourite brush again. I'm really liking this brush. So I'm using, if you haven't seen some of the other episodes, I'm really getting into the number eight oil brush, uh, bright, short, flat, Windsor & Newton artist brush. I'm actually a little bit in love with this brush. <laughs> it is so nice. I need to get more of these brushes. If there's any brushes that you think are amazing, let me know. Because I need to get some brushes. Uh, anyway. Maybe I'll start buying expensive brushes. Or maybe not. So I'm thinking about background colour now. Uh, like I said, I'm keeping this impressionistic. I'm not going to be going crazy for detail. Although... I'm planning an episode where I am going to go crazy for detail. I've got this idea. It's going to be brilliant. I can't tell you what it is yet though. Unless you've been uh, 
on my Facebook and seeing what I've been doing then maybe you already know <laughs> but if you haven't then you don't know so I'm thinking about the background I don't really want too much in the background I don't want to like go crazy with uh, stuff <laughs> so what I might do it just put some really thin colour in there. A little bit of raw umber. Burnt umber. Oh, there's burnt umber. I thought it was raw umber. So a bit of a blah, 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 blah. Viridian. And put some raw umber in it. It's very thin colour again. get some blue as well just change the flavor a little bit different areas a bit of blue. sort of thinking in my head a complementary colour to orange well you probably guessed it it's blue if you didn't know it's blue <laughs> and uh, so I'm starting to think I probably should put little bits of blue in the background So yeah, hardly any paint. I'm bothered about filling this in too much, right? Let's have a look at that. I'm just looking at the uh, this. So let's go for about here. Say the centre of the plants there, and we can go like that. Bloody little bit of a curve to it. Like that. Thicker. So I grew these uh, marigolds, king marigolds, not any marigold, these are the king. When uh, when I water it, I always have to put down a red carpet. <laughs> and then I have to sing, God save the king to it, and then, uh, and then I water it. <laughs> <laughs> or do I? Maybe I really do do that. Get some water. Getting a bit of water. Bit of this green and blue. Get a bit of water just to thin the paint out so it spreads easier. I'm using water mixable oils. I remember when I uh, <laughs> released a video a while ago and I was using these oils and uh, someone thought I was being stupid <laughs> using a, a ruler and uh, water with my oils. They thought I was crazy. I was like, what is this guy doing? He doesn't know what he's doing. And I'm not denying the idea that I don't know what I'm doing, but <laughs> I do kind of know what I'm doing. And they started uh, saying that I was nuts, especially because my ruler was a broken one. <laughs> Mm. 
Okay, I'm blocking in, blocking in, blocking in. I'm sort of just going over this area as well, I'm not really fussed to be honest. I can see whereabouts it should be. So I've actually done it in the wrong place, so I might do it again anyway. I prefer that shape where it goes. Yeah. And then down Anywho. We must fill this in. Fill it in. This is the hardest bit. <laughs> Yeah, there wasn't very interesting skies today on the way uh, to work, so I was like, eh, I think I'll do something from the garden. It's the reason why I grew these marigolds, actually. Wait, king marigolds. <laughs> the reason why I grew them is because I wanted to have a go painting them. Same with all my plants. I've even got some sunflowers growing and they look amazing. So there we go, there's a, uh, it's really a wash that I've put on, a bit like watercolour I suppose, except with more water mixable oils. Oh, maybe I am crazy. <laughs> well, I do have a puppet now. <laughs> I'm just moving this colour around a bit, seeing what kind of effect it creates. And now, hair, yeah, damn you, little hairs. Why do you keep appearing, little hairs? Okay, that'll do. Like I said, very rough background, very rough. I really want to focus my attention on the flower, and that's all. Really? So, let me think. So, I think I'll do the stem now. So, some of this Viridian Green and what else do I need? Some of the yellow in it. Let's have a look. Let's get this brush. Yeah, this brush will do. So when you're testing your colour, I mean, I'm starting with the uh, Viridian Green, and I can go like this and go to, to go to myself. Well, it's not dark enough for the darkest dark bit, and it's um, from what I can see. It's got a bit too much blue in it, so a little bit of yellow. We'll probably get it closer to that, so it's kind of a little bit more yellow now. A little bit more yellow, and then we're getting closer, you see? Getting closer to that colour. and. Uh, so I'm going to start with this actually. I'm thinking I might use a bit of medium as well to thicken the paint. Let's see how we go. So I'll have it go like that and then like that. that and then like that. Do I like that? And then we've got a leaf going on there. So 
So yeah, we'll leave that as that for now. We'll focus all our attention on the uh, flower and then we'll come back to that. Okay, I'm happy, yes, I'm happy. I'm happy, so happy. <laughs> Uh, happy or nutty? I don't know. Maybe a little bit of both. Um, so... I'm thinking, how can I attain that sort of bushy, flowery sort of feel using the brush? And how can I uh, do it where... I'm just putting a yellow and an orange in and lines. <laughs> I'm going to put a bit of red out as well. So I can dive into that if I wish. Yeah, so how can I do it? But I want to feel the petals when I'm doing it. And I keep thinking... I should be alright. Let's see what this colour's like compared to that. So it needs a bit more... It needs lightning, but not with yellow, with white. How do I know? It's just a guess. No, you get better at mixing just by doing do paintings. I still need to get better. So I'm going to throw in some impasto medium, impasto medium, some of this stuff. Artisan impasto, because I just feel like I need it to be a little thicker, the paint and some of that works quite well. Throw it into your colour. Thickens things up a little bit. You don't have to. What what I found is um, what you can do to uh, get nice thick uh, strokes without having to use this is you just use a, a lighter pressure. <laughs> uh, simple as that. But I really want a little bit of this just to help me out a bit. Does have a tendency to go, uh, whoops, a bit of red in that. God, it does look like a marigold colour. Good job I got a bit of red in that. Right, let's see how we do. Hmm, it's not quite there yet. So close. That is really close now. Okay, let's uh, let's let's think about this then. Let's let's do these at the top because that's where I want to start. So I'm gonna I'm gonna hold my brush quite lightly because I'm gonna just pull these. Just let these pull off. So I want more yellow. So make the decision. Bit of yellow and white. We need some more because of those bits of a bit more yellow. Try and keep these strokes separate as well. Using the side of the brush there. Almost looks like feathers, doesn't it? Really interesting. I think I need another brush on the go. I need one that's got a 
not that rough. About this one. Maybe this one. I need one that's got a bit more orangey red on it. Yeah. Maybe a little lighter. Yeah, like that. Alright, let's go back to this one. So we're going uh, 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 and just lightly putting some more on. Quite thick. When I say quite thick, it's very thick. <laughs> Trying to get the feel of it, feel of these petals going down there. Get a bit more red in it for these ones. A big one there, big petal there. Full of petals there. Some of them in that, that. That's nice. So I'm just using lots of strokes. It's, it's much better using the two brushes. I often like switch between lights and darks brushes. I'm gonna go um, feel feel it out a little bit. Like there, just need to touch a white and yellow there, just there. Use the other side. Just these, uh, some of these areas they catch a bit more light than others. So you need to, need to get them in. Okay. Just sitting back, having a look. Some more colour. So a leaf, a leaf, a petal there, a petal there. Grabbing some more of that red. More of the yellowy colour. So what I'm thinking is, um, like, in order of um, petals, <laughs> the ones at the bottom and the ones that you kind of need to paint first and then you can put petals on top of that so you're adding them and you can create a lot more more depth and impression impression create an impression and get the feel of it Feel of it. I'm trying to feel the uh, the marigold. Be the marigold. <laughs> Be the marigold. Be one with the marigold. And some of this red. Let some of this red just stay there. Red, put it in there constantly. Sitting back, remember, sit back, have a look, see if it's what you want, see if it's what you wanted to create, see if there's ways you can improve things. Maybe, maybe here and there, there's a little bit more, a little bit more dark, maybe there's a bit more. Red, or oh, maybe there's a bit more yellow. Maybe 
some more light that needs added in. Get some of the white and the yellow and start thinking about hitting some of this with light. Some light pressure and I'm just hitting some of these areas that I can see. Got a bit more light on them. Sitting back. Yeah, quite liking it actually. I wanted to do something different. I'm always wanting to do something a little different. of brush strokes in the flower. Okay, sitting back a bit more. feel like I need to deepen some of the reds. So I'll get some of the cadmium red deep. Which is real strong. If you want to deepen a red, cadmium red deep will do it. Sit back, you make a decision, and you roll with it, and see what happens. Make your design. We needed this extra depth to it. Okay, just sitting back, having a look. I quite like that. Now then, what I'm going to do is start developing other areas. Some of this green, green and yellow. So we need, well, we definitely need to do this, but. the 
yellow, yellow and green. And just lighten that side. Could do a bit of white now, maybe. Maybe I'll just get some of this pure yellow, almost pure anyway. Yeah, that works. And the leaf. <laughs> it's funny. When I when I think about um painting now to when I first started. Uh, I, I still um, I still feel beginnerish. I mean I don't feel like I'm a, um, an expert really but compared to when I first started I'm so much better and and I think to myself wow never thought when I first started I'd be able to do paintings like at the, at the level I can now because I just didn't <laughs> I didn't think uh, I could do it I mean I didn't do very well at school and uh, I just didn't really have the belief but I certainly had the uh, the want to do something like this, some paintings and have fun with doing art, just adding some background kind of shapes where there's all these and things. Nothing too uh, specific in the background because it's just background material. And then we can uh, bring forward things like this leaf. Pew. We use a bit of the orange. It's not actually orange from there, but it doesn't matter, does it? Do what we like. <laughs> something there as well. I've got the, the um, these are sunflowers that are growing in the background. I might gonna do a painting of. I've got something else planned soon. Mm -hmm. Which I'm looking forward to doing. Yeah, uh, catching a bit of red on there. Okay, what I'll do with this brush. Do I need any more deep? I'd like a couple more over here, actually, the deep variety. I quite like this bit here. I haven't really captured that. So do that and then that. That's the bit that reminds me of like feathers or something. Boop, boop, boop. Look at all that paint. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear. Okay, sitting back, having a look. Oops. I'm gonna use a smaller brush just to Tidy up that bit there. I don't like the way that's going. Hmm, quite, works quite well with that bit of red in it, actually. Yeah, I know what the problem is. No paint. <laughs> that old thing uh, when I uh, when I trained um, a while ago to be a Bob Ross CRI and uh, there was a really good teacher there 
called well, was a lot of good teachers there actually all the teachers that were teaching me were very good um there's a chap called not chap <laughs> oh no there was a guy that was really good at um, one of my, one of the first ones i went to uh called dowell he was really good and then uh then uh, there was a lady called Ellen Ty, and uh, and she said when she was teaching, she goes, "Oh, Jason, um, you've hardly got any paint on your palette." <laughs> and I was like, "Oh, Cause being a bit stingy at home, you know, you don't use that much paint here." Well, I didn't anyway. And, uh, and that was when I realised that I wasn't. Well, <laughs> that was when I realised I didn't use enough paint. Uh, and well, yeah, when I re I realised that when she told me. <laughs> oh dear. Yeah. Now that stalk's massive. <laughs> It looks like it's a tree trunk now. Okay, let's get rid of some of it. There we go. It's totally got rid of it and no one would ever know. <laughs> Apart from this horribly red stain that's happened. Just get some blue and do what I'm doing. Because then it'll turn this red more purpley browny colour. And I can grab some green and. and before you know it, it's like this. Never happened. <laughs> oh, what a mess. So, <laughs> I thought I was finished, but um, I'm not. <laughs> like, I, I sort of had this thought um, why, <laughs> why haven't I added more? To the background basically it looks too unfinished so I'm just putting myself some of my favorite blues out I need to get some more of this cerulean blue I'm running out so I've got some of the blues brush with some of the blues and then I'm gonna get some white Blobble white out like that, and I'm going to start filling in the background with some sky colour. In my original picture, there was no sky; there was a fence, <laughs> which is a bit boring, isn't it? So let's start using some colour. So I'm going to start filling this in behind this flower some blues and blues and whites just blobbing it on Sometimes when you're painting, <laughs> sometimes a sit back and have a look is not enough. Sometimes you need to go out of the room. 
<laughs> and then come back again and then and then look at it and go uh, yeah that's what I need to do to improve it I need to get more paint on I mean I was giving myself a hint when I was talking about what Ellen Ty said to me about more paint And if I pick up some of the orange, then I'll go back and get some more of the blue and white, uh, wipe the brush or something. Some more of the blue. Yeah, I'm, I'm preferring this painting already. It's already better. Get rid of that. If some of the uh, under colour shows through, I don't really mind to be honest. Adds to the uh, painting, doesn't it? kind of like those purpley flowers but they don't really go with the picture not really not when you're painting a flower head so thickly you can't expect to get away with that <laughs> oh dear some of the red is still in it I don't mind that I do love brush strokes. I love using them. You get a bit lost when you're doing these actually. Okay, so I think that I'm ready to call it now. Nearly. Yeah, I think I am now. Just sit back, having a look. Yeah. a bit more there like that like that like that like that you see how you can change your mind in mid-flow oh, that painting is so much better so now I've got the 
complementary colours of the blue and the orange and I've got more life in the painting and that's what the painting should have had in the first place that was the idea to add life into the painting and now we've got it and um, I'm a lot happier so I wasn't happy the, when I was looking at it and I didn't realize what I'd missed until I gave myself a moment <laughs> And I was like, oh. it's because it doesn't combine as a painting, as a unit. It didn't work as a unit. You need your painting to be a unit, working together as a unity. And that's what I wanted. But it wasn't doing that. And that's what the problem was. That's why I wasn't really very happy. And then, bingo. So, that'll do. <laughs> we'll call it this time. So, thanks very much for watching this episode. And I'll, uh, I'm looking forward to seeing what I can come up with on the next episode. And I uh, hope you're enjoying Oil Eye and uh, having fun with it. And uh, if you'd like to check out my other videos, then check out all the playlists. Um, and if you are uh, enjoying them, please like and share and join my Facebook or my Instagram. Uh, check out my Patreon page if you want to support the channel. And uh, or get a t-shirt or a mug like I've got. Woohoo! Sitting back having a look mug. Keep hydrated so your mind works better. So yeah, thanks very much for watching this one and I'll see you in another episode. Cheers, bye.